Hey Celestial Gang, it's Celestial Guidance here. Three threes, no ease. If you'd like a personal reading from me, click the link down below so you can get all of my information. All right, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a fire sign, you're in the right spot, okay? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If that's in your chart or in the person that you're trying to know about, you're in the right spot, all right? We're going to see what 2024 is going to bring you, all right? So like, comment, and subscribe. I just, you know, did the water signs reading. So if you have any water in your chart, go look at that reading, okay? You want to look at all your big threes. So your sun, moon, and your rising, all right? And if you're reading about somebody else, the same goes for them. You can even check out your Venus as well. So, you know, these cards are already spoken over. So spirit guides, ancestors connect to the fire placements. What can they expect in 2024? Ooh, main female. High honor. Journey. Pathway in reverse. Community in reverse. Privileged lady. All right, so who's ever watching this? You could be 30 up. Let me get one more card because in the other video, I did seven. Let me get one more. Ooh. Okay, so we have courtship, but it's sideways okay so we're gonna have some love issues going on here all right so fire placements let's get into it all right because somebody thinks very highly of you you send somebody through a spiritual awakening all right and this person can see themselves being with you but they're not sure if they if you see yourself being with them they kind of see you on a different path but for them they're kind of stuck on you okay they can't really move forward uh it's like their community is trying to trick them out of receiving abundance trying to trick them from seeing you in a different light like the people are, around them are trying to paint you as someone that you're not um Ten, ten, twelve, twelve. Check out those angel numbers, or you could be seeing them a lot on the clock this year. Yeah, but there's going to be relationship issues going on here this year. There's going to be a spiritual awakening happening this year. All right, some of you may even be planning on moving or traveling more, or if you're at a long distance with this person, traveling to see them more putting in more effort into what you do in your appearance. But your 2024, there's going to be people's like you're good you're going to be a big influence on people's lives. You're going to take them to a place that they haven't experienced, okay? So that's sort of like your situation right now. But you will have some issues with people close to you. Can the fire placements expect in terms of 2024? soulmate yes this is your soulmate okay so the person that is changing themselves and is taking a while to come forward 
this is your soulmate okay so you're going to be meeting your soulmate this year fire placements this is a past life relationship so you'll know if it's the person that you're thinking of because they're always on your mind this is somebody that you know there's an instant connection this is someone that you feel like you've just been with before sexually not even sexually as well it just feels like you've dated this person before and there's going to be reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life oh this is great this is awesome no one is going to stop y'all shine no one is there anything else okay so there's going to be financial issues all right that stop your love connection from moving forward so i don't know if your person your soulmate their family is influencing their money but you deserve love because you are lovable you are lovable and you deserve everything you deserve everything like You've been struggling, and even though there's still some struggle, you still have pushed through, all right? You haven't given up on yourself, so that's why this person hasn't given up on you. So enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay? When this person comes in, you guys will be in the honeymoon phase. Like, it will feel like you guys have never left, okay? It's time to disconnect from the world when you guys get together. So... In terms of love, this is what y'all can expect to happen in your 2024. Getting in connection with your soulmate. These cards are new, so they're still stiff. But I want to keep them as stiff as possible. The mother of knives came out, but I put it back. Okay, so spirit guides, ancestors connect to the fire placements. What do you have to tell them about their love life for 2024? Six of coins. Got some Taurus energy. Ooh, justice. Got some Libra energy. Ooh. Eight of Wands, Virgo energy there, Four of Wands, some Aries energy, Six of Wands, Leo energy. Ten of Knives, Gemini energy. placements expect daughter of knives seven of wands so okay we have <clears throat> more aquarius energy and we have leo energy so all the air placements are out here Almost all of the fire placements are out here. Okay, the last week of Gemini season is significant for some of you. Last week of August is significant for some of you. April 11th to April 20th is significant for some of you. And May 1st to May 10th is significant for some of you. The next... 
two months can be significant for you guys. The next four to six days, four days to a week will be significant for you. Like it all depends on where you are energy wise. Everyone is at a different place in their lives. So this could have happened already for some of you. This is about to happen for you. You know, you're going through the process right now for this. But your love life, it's going to be challenging, okay? There's going to be a lot of trials and tribulations in 2024, but, you know, don't be scared to put your eggs in more than one basket, okay? Don't be scared because whoever does you dirty, they're going to get karma anyway. So go after whoever you want to go after, okay? You've worked hard on yourself. You've worked hard on finding peace, okay? And if you haven't yet, this is going to be your journey in 2024, okay? Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But you're going to get a lot of good news in 2024. There's nothing to necessarily worry about. It's more of just protecting your energy, okay? There's a lot of needing to protect your energy so you can focus on your love life when that true love comes in, okay? But also focus on all of these lessons that you're learning from dealing with these other people that you're putting your eggs in their baskets for okay like if anybody does you dirty like you're prepared for it there's going to be a lot that you're going to want to invest in your love life but you have to work on yourself, work with yourself first before you can get there and do that. Right now, it's sort of like you're in cold energy and you kind of need to open up, be more, you know, lighthearted, kind of bring joy back into yourself so you can bring it into your connections. General relationships, let's see how your general relationships will be in 2024 for the fire placements. General relationships, not the romantic ones. The emperor. Four of coins. Ace of Coins. So Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. For your general relationships, you know, you'll, you'll get offered a lot of friendship. There's people that will kind of want to see what you're all about. They know you're kind of secretive, kind of to yourself. But that's what makes them intrigued to want to get to know you, okay? This is a pile that needs to watch out for pregnancy because pregnancy will happen for you in 2024 if you're not careful. But I see a lot of fire signs getting pregnant. I also feel like if you're a single father, you won't be a single father for long. That's for a few of you. Yeah, this is a very important thing to know for your social life because, you know, you just can't have yourself be around anybody. You can't just stay around anybody. All right, people get exhausting. People drain energy. If you just hang around anybody, like, you've heard birds of a feather flock together, okay? Like, that's sort of the situation here. Like, you don't want to just hang with anybody. Like, if certain people feel a certain way about so-and-so, then, like, depending on how the situation really is, you know, because there's always someone's side, your side, and the truth, you know what I'm saying? So... I 
I'm just hearing Cardi B, be careful with me. And that's sort of like the energy people get with you. They know that they can't treat you any certain way. Like with you, they know that you're kind of like dangerous. I don't know if you guys know the song by, um, what's his name? Mystique. And it's like, danger, danger. I know. Like that's the song. Like people know dealing with you is a risk, but they, they don't care. They want to deal with you anyway. You need to know who to be around because some people just want to kind of like take advantage of you, take advantage of your niceness, your kindness. And that's just not the situation that you're putting up with. You're not doing that. Like you're still a sweet soul, but you are going to back away when you see fit. All right in terms of career what can the fire signs expect in terms of career for 2024 five of knives ace of knives lots of aquarius energy but you also got Gemini Libra energy. Two of knives. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with workplace drama and you're kind of like over it in a way, but you're sort of like, do I stay, do I go? More on this two of knives. Do I stay or do I go? Do, 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 do. Son of baskets. Four of Knives. Mother of Baskets. Ooh, okay. So you guys are indecisive now, but in about like a month, less than a month and a half, all right, majority of you are going to be taking this risk, okay? So there's more Cancer, Libra, and um, Scorpio energy. It's interesting because it's sort of like if you have any like workplace beef and you're at the center of it, you're I see you're going to be resolving those issues. And after that, you're sort of just going to keep to yourself and just know where to place yourself in the workplace. Maybe getting a new position, but something that's not so intense on your body. Something that gives you a little bit more freedom, all right? So many of you will be choosing to still stay in the workplace environment that you're, you were in in 2023 or whichever new work you decided to get into this year. You're going to be listening to your intuition. You're not... Like, your goal is to nurture the child within you. You're not going to want to really be focusing on anybody else. This is going to be the year of you. You know, if somebody needs help, you don't mind giving them a helping hand. But for the most part, you're going to be focused on you. That is going to be your main goal. Let's get a closing card. get three closing cards oh my goodness closing card for the water placements eight of wands ten of wands sagittarius energy
Three of Baskets, Cancer Energy. Okay, so July 22nd, August 1st could be significant for some of you, like October 13th, October 22nd is a significant time frame for some of you. First week of July could be significant for some of you, but um, along with mid-January will be significant for some of you. You're going to be celebrating yourself more. So if you weren't celebrating yourself in 2023, that is what you're going to do for sure in 2024. You're not going to be withholding anything that like you're not going to keep yourself from what you need you won't be self-sabotaging this year okay let's get some feelings like what will the fire placements feelings be in this year ace of cups four of cups okay july 12th to July 21st, um, May, those are some significant uh, time frames, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, November 13th to November uh, 22nd. temperance and knight of pentacles okay so there is a lot of water okay so this is going to be a very emotional year for you because i don't think you really have taken time for yourself so i think part of the reason you're going in this isolation but also like you're going to be an ambivert energy but you're going to be mainly introverted, but the, the whole situation here is that you're going to celebrate yourself a little bit more than you used to, and it's going to feel new. It's going to feel different. You're inviting yourself to new things, okay? You're stepping into the unknown because you're healing, okay? So... Your soul is going to become rejuvenated because you're going to be trusting yourself more. You're going to be trusting others more. This is going to be a healthy year for you. All right. And that's what I'm getting for you. Fire signs. All right. So like, comment and subscribe. I'm Celestial Gang. If you like a personal reading for me, everything that you need to know for my content and my emails are down below okay bye